Hello everyone. Today, we are using an active PoE splitter to connect the Esvis Dual Lens Wi-Fi camera. Since the PoE switch does not directly support the PoE requirements of the Esvis H9C, the PoE splitter will convert the power and data from the switch to meet the camera's needs. Let's understand this accessory. A PoE, power over Ethernet, splitter is a device that separates data and power from a single Ethernet cable coming from a PoE-enabled switch or injector. It converts the incoming 48V power to a lower voltage, commonly 12V, and provides two outputs, one Ethernet port for data connectivity and one DC output jack for powering devices. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use the PoE splitter with an Esvis H9C dual-lens Wi-Fi camera that features a LAN and DC port but isn't PoE-enabled. We'll connect it to the PoE switch alongside the IP camera network, although you can also use it exclusively for Wi-Fi cameras or other devices. This setup allows for the standalone operation of the Wi-Fi camera while simultaneously providing both LAN data and power from the PoE switch using the active PoE splitter. The setup for using a PoE splitter cable between a camera and a PoE switch utilizes a PoE splitter to separate power and data transmitted over a single Ethernet cable. This allows non-PoE compatible devices to benefit from both power and data without needing a direct power connection. In this configuration, a CAT6 cable connects the PoE switch to the camera, enabling remote transmission of data and power over distances of up to 328 feet, 100 meters. To achieve this, an 802.3 AF compliant PoE switch or a 48V power injector is required to provide the necessary voltage and current. To set up the connection, connect one end of the CAT6 Ethernet cable to a PoE port on the PoE switch. This supplies both data and power through the cable. At the other end, connect this cable to the Ethernet input of the PoE splitter adapter. The PoE splitter acts as an intermediary, dividing the incoming power and data into distinct outputs for devices that do not natively support PoE. The PoE splitter provides two outputs, a LAN port for data connectivity and a DC output for power. Connect the LAN port from the splitter to the camera's Ethernet port to enable data transfer. The DC output should be connected to the camera's power input to supply electrical power. This configuration ensures that your camera receives both network connectivity and power through a single cable, simplifying the connection process.